begin to see God. And I'm going to step right on in today into this message. In the 28th verse, Luke 1, the 28th verse, in the 26th verse, we know that God sent the angel. In the 28th verse, the angel now has arrived. And the first word out of his mouth is hell. 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 This word, among things, means be full of cheer, be well off, be glad, and joy fully. <laughs> be full of cheer. Be well off, be glad, and I glad like this last one, and joy fully. I said, Lord Jesus, hell, in just that one word, hell, Mary, Mary, be full of cheer, be well off, be glad, and joy fully, Mary. Well, now, wait a minute. You don't know where I'm from? Galilee. You don't know what city I'm from in Galilee? Nazareth. <laughs> you understand? Yeah, here, here, you can imagine what's taking place. He says, Hail, thou art highly favored. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Now, Mary's like, Who are you, who are you talking to? Some of y'all think I'm talking about Mary, but I'm talking to you. <laughs> huh? See, see. Why did this angel show up? The angel showed up because the angel is a messenger. Don't worship the angel. The angel is a messenger from God to bring this woman a message. The reason why the, the angel came is because God's got a message for this woman. So then the most important thing is not the angel. The most important thing is the, oh, Lord Jesus, I'm just trying to see if you're paying attention. I'm just trying to see. I'm trying to see if you're paying attention. The most important thing is the what? It's the message. It ain't the angel. It's the message because this angel it's about to prophesy. He, a matter of fact, he already prophesied. He prophesied. He's telling this woman something she ain't feeling. Tell you now, watch. Now, watch. That would have been enough. He said, "Now, and and what she saw in verse twenty nine, what is she? She's troubled at his saying, and and casting her mind. What what is this salutation? Hell, Mary, be full of cheer." Be well off, be glad, and joy fully. The angel says unto her, fear not, verse 30, fear not, for thou hast found favor with God. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb and bring forth a son and shall call his name Jesus. He shall be great and shall be called the son of the highest. The Lord shall give unto him the, uh, 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 the throne of his father David. He shall reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there shall be no end. Mary says, okay, 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 here we go, Tank. He, he's sidestepping. <laughs> Mary said, ho, ho, ho a minute. Now, I'm young, but I, I understand how this works. I don't see how you're going to do this because why? I don't know a man. Can I say this? No, 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 no. That, that'll be another message. That'll be another message. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, that, 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 let, me, let me just say this. Let me, let me just say this. Let me say this. Let me say this. Is there anybody in this church who not made a mistake? Have not sinned? If you've all sinned and made a mess, just raise your hand. You know you have. You know you have. Okay, now you see where my hand is. See right here. See, God got a simple solution when we make a mess. And it's so simple, we just miss it. Guess what you do? Repent. Mm -mm. 
what we going to do? Well, maybe God meant, so maybe God want, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. I messed that up and receive the grace of God so you can move on. Come on, thank God. Are y'all hear what I'm saying? Hear what I'm saying? Don't try to put God in that. In other words, only you want God's what? Grace in it. Give me the grace in it, Lord, in Jesus' name. This young lady said, I, I have not known a man. And the angel said, yeah. He said, but look, who's, look, look what's going to happen. The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore, that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. And he said, and we're going to give you, we're going to give you an example, a hint here, what's going to take place first. Your cousin Elizabeth, uh, she's going to conceive in her old age. And, 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 and in the six month with her, she, which is six months, she's already, uh, uh, what she was called, who's called Barry. She's six months alone. And look what the angel says in verse 37. For with God, what? Lord Jesus, nothing. Don't don't try to hear me, in. Y'all understand? Don't try to hear me, man. Don't say, well, you know, I got to do this. I got to have this. I got to do this. I got to do that. And if I do this, if I do that, if I do that and then, Lord, so if you just help me do this. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. The angel said, now, Mary, I know all this is confusing, but this is the part I want you to get. And I'm so glad she got it. For with God, nothing shall be impossible. Come on, is that right? Now, how do we know she got the message? Look at verse 38. She relented. She goes, and Mary said, Behold, the handmaiden or the servant of the Lord, be it unto me. How? According to that word. And guess what they did? That satisfied the angel. I ain't so let me go. <laughs> Y'all see that? The angel departed. Now, they ain't going for good because why did that angel come? That angel came because of the message. So they, that angel's not going for good because now that angel or those angels or those heavenly hosts have now got to turn and now help her because her life is about to fall apart because of this word. Everything in her life about to be shaken up. I'm talking to somebody right now. Because of what? This word. I want a word from the Lord. Good. Get ready for everything you got to be uprooted. Come on. Are y'all hear me? Amen. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. First of all, y'all have read this in, in the first chapter of Matthew, is that the first challenge she now, ex she now has is, is now she's expecting, and, and, and understand how, the, how this Jewish marriage work, how, how takes place. Is that, is that the families come together. And even folks, you know, the culture still do this today. Uh, and, I, and I'll say this to us. Let me say this to y'all. All y'all is planning on getting married or you, or you find somebody that you're serious about, although we don't have arranged marriages, you need to talk to somebody. Y'all talk to somebody. The arranged marriage was to make sure because, because, because the old folk understood that the young folk going to get caught up in emotion. They're going to make decisions. They ain't, they ain't going to gonna count that whole call. That dowry, and I'm saying this because, again, if you don't study the culture, you say, oh, they got married. Uh-uh, didn't you hear about, didn't you hear the, uh, 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 the parable of the five wise, uh, the five uh, 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 wise and five foolish virgins? What were they? They were, wait, they were part of a wedding party. They were assigned to take care of this woman until what? Until the groom comes. And the groom's supposed to show up. And the groom going to show up with his party and now the marriage is on. See, But now, here this man showing up with the groom and there his wife-to-be is pregnant. Now, I don't know if y'all watch Lucille Ball or not. But Ricky said, you got a whole lot of explaining to do. <laughs> <laughs> you, you got a whole lot of explaining to do. But guess why I'm so glad? I'm so glad because God knew he gave her a divine word. And it was going to take a divine revelation for somebody to understand, how is this woman pregnant and ain't been with a man? 
Honey, I don't care what you say. That ain't going to make no sense. You're going to need the Lord to speak to somebody. Are y'all hearing me? And guess what happened? The angel of the Lord spoke to Joseph and said, Joseph, don't be afraid to take this woman for your wife. Are y'all hearing me? The Bible said, now Joseph was already a good man. See, he'd already put his money down. He'd put out, I'm just going to put her to the side. I ain't going to let nobody. But the angel said, you're going to get what you paid for, bro. Lord Jesus, don't let your little way get away. Amen. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. You're going to get it. You're going to get it. He said, but here's the conditions. He said, you take that girl. Because what's happened to her, man didn't do it, but the Lord. Come on, are y'all hearing me? Are y'all hearing me? Now watch what I'm saying. I know it was the Lord. You say, how you know it was the Lord? Because he didn't touch her. Grabbing all over you, pulling all over you. He loved me. We'll talk about what he loved in another session. Yeah, 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 yeah. The angel. Why is the angel sure? We keep wondering. See, this this girl's life is now. You understand? Here, I'm supposed to be married. I'm supposed to be. I, I mean, what? How am I? What? Who? How? She said, "The handmaiden of the Lord, and let it be so to me according to that." Lord Jesus. Y'all see that?